Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Hey Ocarina action figure review. This week we're looking at Cad Bane from 2009's The Clone Wars Collection. Before we get into that, if you enjoy the video then hit that like and subscribe button. Cad Bane is a bounty hunter that's featured in a couple of story arcs throughout the Clone Wars TV series, and in my opinion is easily one of the highlights of that show. Right off the bat you'll notice that this figure has a lot in common aesthetically with his appearance on the TV show. Initially, I didn't care for the art style of the show, or that they chose to match it for the figures that were based on the show. It's probably because I had dioramas set up throughout my room, and the figures from this line stuck out like sore thumbs. That being said, I have grown to appreciate the art style a lot more as the years have gone by. It's actually pretty neat that we have stylized figures like this. Enough about that though, let's talk about the figure itself. This particular version of Cad Bane has 8 points of articulation. Most of the other humanoid figures in this line feature at least 10 points of articulation, so this figure is lacking in that department for sure. This would be rectified a year later by the Cad Bane figure that was included with a pirate speeder bike. Since that figure came with a vehicle, it was pretty much a necessity that they add knee articulation. Curiously, instead of building off of that figure for future releases of Cad Bane, Hasbro opted to bring back the old mold from 2009 instead. I'm not really sure what they were thinking with that honestly, but if I were to guess, I'd say that version may have just been cheaper to produce. As far as accessories go, this figure includes two blaster pistols, a blaster rifle that I don't recall ever seeing in the show, and a removable hat. The blaster pistol fits decently well in his hands, but the blaster rifle is essentially limited to a couple of poses at most, which is disappointing. This is because the tubing along the figure's arms limits their range of motion. Right now on eBay this figure is floating around $15 to $20 loose, with the caveat being that a majority of the listings I've come across do not include all the accessories. A brand new inbox figure will cost somewhere between $25 and $30. In all, these prices aren't the worst we've seen so far on this review series. With the posability being as mediocre as it is though, I can't really say I recommend picking up this figure unless you're a diehard Cad Bane or the Clone Wars fan. That's gonna wrap it up for this review. If you enjoyed it, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Let me know if there are any other figures you'd like me to review in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.